But I want to go back to when you were coming out of Duke and you were going through the pre-draft process and the feedback you were getting and what your sort of expectations were uh, for your professional career. Yeah, for me, uh, so I had surgery right after my senior year and I wasn't able to, to work out and stuff during the pre-draft process. I was basically just going into meetings. So that's all I heard was who, what I was, what they expected of me at the next level. I'm saying I wasn't able to go out there and compete with the guys that were in that draft class and show them who I thought I was. So for me, they were saying, obviously, they thought I was just a, just a spot-up, standstill shooter. Some people were telling me I needed to trans transition into a point guard, handle the ball more, make plays for my teammates, stuff like that. But I feel like I could I could show a little bit more than what I showed at college as far as create my own shot off the dribble and 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 obviously I was my game is built on my shooting, so that's why I gotta bring shoot at a high clip. But um for me I was just trying to master every part of the game offensively and, and just figure it out as I go. You know, that's one of the best things about me is I'm able to adapt depending on what team I I'm on. So for me, I was just they were about going out there competing and figuring it out. You spent you spent two years in the G League, right? Coming out? Yeah, two. So my my first year I got a, like three call ups, never really got on the floor. My second year I got one call up. Didn't get on the floor in, in any situation where I had ten days or, or call ups from the G League. And um I just had to wait my turn to get an actual opportunity at the NBA level. What can you describe <laughs> Uh, obviously there's some, some probably stark differences, but can you just describe, uh, the G league experience versus the NBA experience and how different that is? It, it was, it was rough when I was there for the, like, it's, I feel like they crafted in a, in a sense to where they don't want you to get comfortable. It's not like you're, you're there for an extended period of time. You know what I'm saying? And you go there, it, it, the travel is is nuts. You're getting on five six a.m. flights, playing some back to backs, commercial flights. You know, busing uh, six seven hours at times, um, playing in front of a hundred fans or or you know what I'm saying a thousand fans maybe. So you just got to really love the game when you're at that level. And for me, I, I was having fun because I was playing forty minutes a night. I had the ball in my hands the whole time, and I was just figuring it out. But obviously, I wanted to, to get that shot at the NBA level. Do you do you remember the turning point in your NBA career where you felt yeah, like do. you yeah, belong? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I was in Sacramento, so I first got my guaranteed deal in Sacramento in 2014, 15, something like that. Um, and we were out of the playoffs, so that was we were out of the playoffs, and guys were resting. We were kind of tanking it, and um, I mean, they put the young guys out there for extended minutes throughout the past last like 20, 25 games of the season, and um, I just had a, like a 20 game stretch where I was making everything. It felt like I was figuring it out. And that was the biggest thing. It was about being consistent and doing it over a long, long stretch of games. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can have a, a game here, there, and then and fall back off. So it was about finding that consistent thing, what I could do every single night on the floor. Do you remember February 26, 2016 against the Clippers? I do. I do remember that. was a, that was a <laughs> fun night too. I remember that yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I started so you that had, game. You, yeah, you had 19 that game. Uh, and first of all, I was always rooting for you, you know, because because yeah. you know, uh, we grew up in Tobacco Road, and and uh, your your pops is from my you know my part of the state in Virginia. You went to Duke, and I'm like, this motherfucker is an NBA player. I had no idea you were that good <laughs> till that night. I was like, this guy's an NBA player. And, I was uh, always- and obviously, you had a, a couple couple other huge games after that, but you, you were, that was like, that was the first time where I was like, Oh, this guy can really play. I like, I hope he gets a real shot. Yeah. That was doing that stretch. Like you gotta, as an undrafted guy, you gotta get lucky. Like you gotta get in a situation where you get a chance, but then you get lucky to get out there and get some minutes to show actually what you can do. Cause there's no really any incentive for a team to, to give you a shot if they didn't draft you. You know what I'm saying? If they didn't give you any really guaranteed money or that sense. So kind of got lucky with the, with the situation I was in in Sacramento where we were, we were out of the playoffs, and and there there were some minutes for me there, and I just made the most of it. Why do you, Why do you think it it clicked for you in Portland? In in Portland, um, yeah, uh, I mean it was it was a good good situation for me. It was a good role for me. We had a, a veteran team last year in Portland where everybody knew their roles. Like I said, um, and I it was my job to come in off the bench 
and and just shoot the ball and score when I could. So um, we were playing winning basketball and and we were doing it on a high stage every night. So I was, that was probably the best year I've had, um, just fun wise being on the team so far in my career. Was it was it weird guarding Steph in the Western Conference Finals? <laughs> It's always it's the weird, only man. Steph like, question uh, I got, man. It's the only yeah. Steph question I got. <laughs> That's all good. It's always weird, bro. Like it's no matter it's what. Always weird. Yeah. Watching just watching him play throughout the season, I'm rooting for him. I want the Warriors to win. I want him to play well. But we get out there on the floor and I'm guarding him. I kind of know. I know his game. I know. I know what he's comfortable. What he likes to do. And they put me on him, so I'm. It's my job to go out there and make it make it rough for him. So it, it's. It was it's weird playing against them every night, every time we play. But I mean, it's special because the NBA loves it, the fans love it, and and the family has a good time with it. <laughs> 